William Stein Krause rode on the United States equestrian team for 22 years, 17 years as our captain. He would ride to an incredible five Olympic Games, including an individual gold medal win on Snowbound in Mexico City. His book, Riding and Jumping, is still considered a must read for any serious rider. Bill Steinkraus was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1987. He has served as president and chairman of the United States Equestrian Team Board of Directors and has done television commentary during Olympic coverage. The name William Steinkraus is synonymous with the sport that he has given so much to. I was honored to be one of the first members of the Show Jumping Hall of Fame and privileged to have ridden several horses that were either elected or nominated for it, including Democrat, Trail Guide, Riviera Wonder, Sinjin, and San Lucas. I've also ridden others that were very nearly as good. Who was my favorite out of all these talented mounts? To be honest, I can't tell you any more than I could pick a favorite son or even name one single favorite composer, for they were all wonderful, but in different ways. What makes a horse or rider great? It depends, for it's very much a combination of factors, and sometimes extraordinary talents in one direction can compensate for relative deficiencies in others. But I can tell you this, no horse and no rider gets to the Hall of Fame all by themselves. Every horse had riders who really believed in it and nurtured its talents, and every rider benefited from the support and experience of older horsemen who showed them the way. Until I got older myself, I didn't realize how many other people's dreams were mixed up with my own. People who aren't familiar with horses are often surprised to hear horsemen talk about their wide range of personalities, their remarkable memories, their courage, and their sensitivity. Yet I think it's a fact that horses show just as much personality variation as humans do. And to top it all off, they are mostly very forgiving of human error. Thank heavens for that. I can truly say that my life has been hugely enriched by the wide variety of wonderful horses I've known, and I'm sure the other riders in the Show Jumping Hall of Fame feel just the same. If you study their pictures and stories in the exhibits and see what they've accomplished, I think you'll understand why we feel this way. And if you're not yet a rider yourself, but get a chance to find out what it's like to sit on the back of a horse, I urge you to give it a try. I don't think you'll regret it.